Schedules. It's one of those things that gets taken for granted when someone sets up a new security center system. Here's a test. Go to config tool. I'll wait. Go to system. Go to schedules. Does it look like this? It shouldn't, but why? Because different things happen at different times on different days. So why should your system be set to always do the same thing all the time? They shouldn't. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So first, a few caveats. One, the setting up of schedules is 100% the best practice for any security system. Video surveillance, access control, doesn't matter. If you have a security system of any kind, setting up schedules is like mandatory. You should be doing this, period. Two, in Genentech Security Center, schedules can be used for video, access control, license plate recognition, intrusion detection systems, plugins, integrations, like it runs the gamut. This is a huge benefit over other systems that are not unified, right? I don't want to mention anybody by name, but if you're putting together a security system that includes video access control and maybe an intrusion detection system, and they're all three different systems, you're going to have to set up schedules for video, for access, and for intrusion. And chances are those schedules are going to be more or less the same. New Year's Day happens the same time every year, right? So uh, logic dictates you would have a schedule for New Year's Day in your video system, your access control system, and your intrusion system. But if you did it all in Genentech Security Center, you'd only have to set up one schedule. And finally, there are a few different types of schedules that you can set up in Security Center. Uh, so let's jump into Config Tool and set up a few. Let's dive in. First things first, schedules are hierarchical. Hierarchical. Schedules have a hierarchy, meaning more specific schedules will override less specific schedules. So for example, a schedule meant to run on New Year's Day would override one that would be meant to run during that same week. Uh, it would even override a daily schedule if New Year's Day fell on the same day that a daily schedule was meant to run on. Does that make sense? Do you need clarification on that? Le leave me a comment down below. Basically, there's a hierarchy. So in other words, if we click on new schedule here and we look at the types of schedules that you can create, Really, the most specific schedule is going to be the specific one. This one will sort of override all of the other ones, right? So again, that New Year's Day might be very specific, and it will override, let's say, the schedule that would normally run on a January 1st. Perhaps that's a weekly schedule. You know, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 is your regular weekly, weekly schedule, but... If New Year's Day happens to fall on that Monday, the New Year's Day schedule will always override this lesser weekly schedule. So like we said at the outset, if you're coming to system schedules and you're seeing something that looks generally like this, where all you have is the always schedule, that's a problem because... Again, as I said earlier, video, access control, license plate recognition, intrusion alarm systems, blah, 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 blah. All these other systems that you can attach to Genentech Security Center can all be configured with different schedules. And really, all you have to do is set up one. So if your system is supposed to act differently Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and then Monday through Friday, 5 to 9, right? So a daytime schedule and a nighttime schedule. If certain things are supposed to happen on access control after hours... Well, then you've got to set up a schedule to do that. And the same with video. And if you set up one Monday through Friday, daytime and nighttime schedule, so really two schedules, you're done for video and access control. So why, 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 why do I see this so frequently enabled? <coughs> so let's show you how to set up a schedule. It's super easy. So let's just do a Monday through Friday daytime, a Monday through Friday nighttime, and a weekend schedule. 
So for for this exercise, let's just say we are a, a regular office that is open Monday through Friday, uh, nine to five, and we're closed after hours and we're closed on the weekends. Well, how would I do that? I'd come down here and I'd say new schedule, create a weekly schedule, come over here with my mouse to 9 a.m., click, drag down to Friday and over until five. There we go. And that's it. I'm done. Now, if I needed to make a, you know, special exceptions, maybe we're open a little bit later on Thursdays and we're open for, for an hour here and we're, uh, uh, we're open up a little bit earlier on a Friday at eight o'clock. Boom. Done. Apply. Uh, we want to come over here to identity and make this our Monday through Friday, uh, daytime schedule hit apply. It's done. That's it. Finished. Now, uh, we can come over here, hit schedule. Uh, we'll call this one Monday through Friday nighttime schedule or whatever you want. Apply properties again, weekly Monday through Friday. We're going to come here until nine, except on this one, we're going to delete these because we're open a little bit early there, go to five o'clock. And then what do we say? Thursday. Whoops. See, I messed that up, but I just right click, select all the stuff that I want to delete and remove. So, uh, here it would be Friday, Monday through Friday until these times. And again, Thursday, we're open a little bit later. So we take care of those with our little right click apply boom done monday through friday daytime monday through friday nighttime it is set up it is scheduled now what about the weekends new schedule weekly we're going to be closed sunday we're going to be closed saturday apply week end schedule apply done wow that really didn't take much why isn't this done all the time who knows there, there's a wide variety of reasons but really like that's the most basic type of schedule you should set up and boom it's done so now let's look at something more specific so let's let's say you're going to have a valentine's day blood drive on campus every year well, we can use a specific schedule for that schedule. We'll call this Valentine's day blood drive hit apply. And we're going to say this is going to happen on a specific day. That is going to be February 14th. And what's the coverage? We're gonna, we have some options here. So we can make it all day, we can make it a range, we can make it daytime, we can make it nighttime. And these are actually interesting because if we say, all right, well, it's just gonna be during the day. Well, how much do you want it to be offset by? Uh, sunrise and sunset. So we could say maybe two hours before sunrise and two hours after sunset, for example. Maybe we know specifically the blood drive is going to be during the day, but maybe the uh, the truck arrives a little bit early or arrives a little bit uh, or leaves a little bit late. So we give ourselves some some buffer room there without having to be really that specific. So this actually allows you a, a bit of vagary on your specific schedules. Hit apply and you're done. And you can see here we actually have uh, some room to add other dates. So here I'm, I'm just going to leave that alone because we made it specifically for the Valentine's Day blood drive. But if you had other things happening on your campus that all sort of did the same thing or, or fell into the same bucket of schedule types, you could just make one general, general bucket for specific schedules. And then finally, there's the ordinal schedule. And this is, this one's interesting. It's, it's kind of like a, a feature that you would see in Outlook when you're setting uh, like a recurring meeting. I want this meeting to occur the first Monday of every month, right? That's an ordinal schedule. So let's let's do that here where we'll make it for Christmas Day, which is always going to be the the 25th of December. 
So we could say on the 25th of December, we're going to do an all day schedule because we're going to be closed all day Christmas Day. Click OK. Done. Um, maybe we want to say on the first Thursday of every month, we're going to do something specific on campus. Who knows what the heck that is? But we want that to apply only to a daytime schedule, and we'll offset it by an hour on both ends. Click Apply, and that's done. Hit Apply. So really, as you can see here, there's there's not much to this, right? You're just you're you're creating the schedules that you want to have run on your system. Now, how do we then take these schedules that we've applied and now apply them to let's say video and access control? So for our purposes today, we'll concentrate just on video, but understand all of these schedules can be applied to access control, license plate rec recognition and anything else you have attached to the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a specific camera and add a schedule. I do that by going to video. I'm going to find the camera. I know that it's the Sony dome camera, which is uh, sitting on my demo kit right next to me here. And I'm going to come over here to video. Now you can see here, and, and again, I challenge you on your systems. If you went to uh, config tool and you didn't have any schedules set up, even if you did have schedules set up, like dirty little secret, I, I've seen this happen more often than not. You've got schedules set up and every camera still is applied to the always schedule. Like, why? Anyway, what this is telling me here is that this camera will always record in these parameters. Maybe that's fine for you. And maybe that's why, you know, it, it, it's okay. But I would posit that, di again, different things happen at different times of the day. And maybe to save on bandwidth and storage, I don't need my camera to be recording at like full tilt, 1080p or or whatever it is. This, this camera set up for 720p right now. Maybe I don't need this camera to be recording at 720p all the time or with dynamic stream utilization, you can see here we have a multitude of streams. So if we come here, oh, look, I, I do have a schedule set up. Let's get rid of this one. Um, with dynamic stream selection, you can say like my live stream should always be uh, or during the daytime should be 1080p. But at nighttime, I want my live stream to be 720p. So you can get really creative with that, again, in an effort to save on bandwidth and storage. Or for example, my recording stream should be maybe slightly lower resolution or slightly lower frame rate during the day because my cameras are running at their optimal efficiency from a lighting perspective, right? So I'm not worried about low light performance and therefore needing more pixels on target uh, to, to gather an image and maybe an increase in, uh, in frame rate. I can say during the day, run me at a lower resolution or a lower frame rate, and then at the nighttime schedule and on the weekend schedule, kick up my resolutions and frame rates. And really all of that is done here. So all I have to do is say, uh, and again, so this is on my H.264 one stream. You could say I have three streams uh, using dynamic stream utilization. Uh, I'll leave a link up top to the last video I did on dynamic stream selection if you need a, a primer on this. Uh, but basically H.264-1 H.264 is my recording stream and my high resolution stream. So I wanna say Monday through Friday during the daytime schedule, I want it to run and record at 720p at one megabit per second at 10 frames a second apply. During my nighttime schedule, I want it to run at 1080p at 2 megabits per second at 15 frames per second. And then on the weekends, maybe I want it to be uh, more in line with my nighttime schedule at 15 frames a second apply. Now, the always schedule will always be there. 
but it is now completely overridden by the daytime schedule, the nighttime schedule, and the weekend schedule. Now, if we don't apply the ordinal schedules here or the specific schedules here, this camera will always record during the day at 720p, during the night at 1080 at two megabits per second, and on the weekends at the same 1080, two megabits per second. Again, this did not take a tremendous amount of time to set up, but think about how much storage you're, you could potentially save here by basically cutting your bandwidth, your bit rate in half during the day. I know I mentioned that we would only talk about this in relation to video, but real quick, access control, sort of same thing. So here I'm in access control, I'm in access rules. Here's my doors open rule. And what's the schedule? Well, again, I can start creating different access rules during different schedules. So if one cardholder group, let's say, is only allowed into your facility during the Monday through Friday daytime schedule, well, you can create a rule that says that uh, very easily here versus just having this really super general always schedule to grant these people from these cardholder groups into the facility. If I change this now to just the daytime schedule, and maybe I want to change this uh, name here to, instead of doors open, um, uh, general user admittance, maybe, is what I want to call this. So for general user admittance, the schedule is Monday through Friday daytime, and it applies to these specific card holders. You, so you could see creating these schedules just allows you to get even more granular and more specific, not just on video, but on access control. But again, you created one schedule that is now capable of being used in video, in access, in LPR, in intrusion, in any of your other plugins and integrations. They're all here versus what you would have to do with other systems and set up individual schedules for each one of those. It's really inefficient, and it's one of the great benefits of Genetech Security Center. It's just, again, few people are using this, or fewer people than should are using this. Schedules are so important. They only take a few minutes and a few clicks to set up and allows your system to do different things at different times the way that they're supposed to. When we started at the beginning, I asked you to go into config tool and take a look at your system. Did you? Did you have only the always schedule set up? Or when you looked at some of your other entities, did you see that they all have the always schedule set up? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your schedules look like. Did you like this video? Did you get something out of it? Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more great content like this, and we'll see you on the next one.